Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayers and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. By the special grace of God, I want to give us um, uh, this particular prophetic word and prayers right now. And uh, this is just what you need to know. Uh, this is just what you need to hear right now. Uh, this is what God wants you to know. Listen to in here right now. In the name of Jesus, amen. Can we pray, please? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we love you. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We say there is none like you. You are the ancient of days. You are the I am that I am. We have come to glorify you, you this morning and to have an encounter with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever the time of my brother, my sister is, morning, afternoon, evening, I believe they will be receiving an encounter also in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, I want you to understand um, something. I'm, I'm feeling like there is no better way to, to tie to this particular um, prophetic or this particular video. There is no better way to title it. But I'm just going to see what happened and then at the end, I'm just going to pray because I'm like, okay, what can we title and all that? There is a kind of way God starts blessing you and then you don't even know what to say anymore about it. You are, you, you feel like maybe if you say something, it's not going to be enough to, to as compared to what God has done for you. Sometimes the blessings of God in our lives are unspeakable. Sometimes what the Lord starts doing in our lives, what the Lord begins to do in our lives, you notice you're asking yourself like, seriously? So the Lord knew me, the Lord loved me. You know, sometimes we get to ask ourselves so many questions because we do not know that we could possess that. The Bible says in Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 17, the Bible says, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. You possess your possession upon deliverance. <laughs> this is a great revelation. You possess your possession upon deliverance because there is something that is standing in between the gap of your miracle and what is standing in between the gap of your miracle is you and your deliverance so deliverance is standing in between the gap to for the miracle to reach you now what kind of deliverance do i need pastor because i don't find any attack in my life i don't find any of this honey for there to be a delay in your life something must be wrong somewhere for there to be limitations and stagnations, rejection, something must be wrong somewhere. It is either somebody is responsible or there is a pattern or something happened that you made a mistake. And that is what is stopping people between you and your miracle is deliverance. Once you cross deliverance, you get the miracle. So the miracle is opposite, waiting for you to cross the line of deliverance and you get it. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob, Mount Zion, is God's presence. It is God's presence. It can be anywhere. I'm talking to you and you're feeling the power. That is the presence of God. That is Mount Zion. Oh, this is going real quick. Now, I want to read out this particular testimony that this lady sent to me. Her name is Gladys. Pastor Ethel, God Almighty, Continue blessing you always. From the time you prayed for me, people I had not heard from started sending me messages. I used to wonder why men and women never said hello. Oh, wow. But after the prayers, things changed a lot. 
both men and women all greet me with smiles. Can you see that? Look at that. When you prayed for me, you said there was an altar in, in the family that did not that did not want the marriages in the family to stand. Altars again, marriage. This is very true. People struggle to be happy in their marriages. My elder brother and his wife, many years with five grandchildren, decided to get a divorce recently. That is an altar. I could only put it, put them in prayers. A very close cousin confirmed that there was something very, very bad in the family that did not support marriages. And then she spoke another, Pastor, you recently gave a prophecy about someone that has signed a contract, but it was canceled for no reason. You said, watch out for something that will change. This happened. We were told three weeks ago that the contract had been terminated at the last date, um, 18th June. No reason given. At the same time, she spoke about and spoke about. Pastor, you have been a great, she spoke about that. Now, what did God say about that? The Lord said, it was said it was going to change. They should watch out. So she was confirming the prophecy that God has used me to give in her life and how her life has changed ever since she started praying with us. We do prayers every day by the special grace of God, every day. And if you're opportune, God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. Hallelujah. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel just so you receive your notifications when necessary. Pastor, you have been a great, you have been a great blessing to me. These past years have been so, so hard for me, but the morning prayers all oh, made a big difference. My hope was revived again. Hallelujah. Thank you very, very much for all you do, encouraging me, especially through the prayers. I was so used to believing in to believing a lie that the problem was me because everyone blamed me for not having good things come my way until you prophesied to me. Then I started seeing a change after you prayed. Look at that. Thank, thank you once again. God Almighty, bless and protect you always. Amen. Thank you, Gladys. Look at that. She felt like she was the problem until prophecy came and prayers came. God will reveal now she received deliverance from her mind. She received deliverance in her identity, which means she had a lot of things that were fighting and the Lord is delivering them. I want to pray for you. You're here. You see, you're going through a lot. Marital delay, marital limitation. Your identity is a problem. People misjudge you. Your personality is a problem. You're finally having your spirit to believe again that God can change your life. Connect us and pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus, be free in the mighty name of Jesus. Be free in the mighty name of Jesus. Be free in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Type it on the comment section if you're watching up to this extent and say, I am free in the mighty name of Jesus. I connect myself to Gladys' testimony. I am free. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. If this has been of great blessings to you, I'll beg on you that you do pray for me too. And also do not forget to share the video. Always learn to share. Thank you, everybody who shares. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you. And may he give you peace, the shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.